Uh, some good work here down the left from Sydney FC to start things, Roots. Goes back, makes his uh, first start of the season uh, and to immediate effect as well. Gets past Georgeski quite easily, really, and, and a few beautiful little balls across the face of goal. Lovely movement by Shane Smeltz too to drag his defender away. You can see right there Shane Smeltz is marked by two players. Just steps away and provides that space uh, for Holosko to run into. A Got super start for Sydney FC, a super start to the game really as well. Mm. So that started things, but not long after Melbourne Victory got themselves back into the equation. What, what's more to say about this man? Um, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, he knows today they're up against it. They haven't got their full strength side, but uh, you know he plays people on his own. Happy with the call, Boz, with the uh, linesman? Fantastic call. Look, the linesman can't see whether or not that Broxman is in, the, is in the way of the goalkeeper. That's why he's flagged. So he's understandable because he's on that angle that he puts his flag up because if, if Broxman know exactly how they're going to line up, what positions they're going to take up as well, we, we, we find Georgeski on the right-hand side of defence and he coughs up the ball when they lose uh, and, and concede the first goal as well. He is playing on that right-hand side. Finkler's also playing that side too. You can see here normally... What happens is Bart Bruce is able to track back in these sort of areas and, and provide that 2v1 type of situation, an overload of defenders, if you like. But uh, there, there's a bit of confusion there, really. He's able to get himself on the ball right here. There's Finkler on the right-hand side, occupying where Bart Bruce normally does. Georgeski on the right-hand side. Now, the cues are all over the shop. Yeah. Right, the first touch by Finkler is poor. Georgeski, for me, is a little bit too ahead. Four gave Finkler sort of things out down the right with a spectacular goal, but this was pretty good. Superb play, and, and very good play from Shane Speltz as well, showing his experience there. When you're in that position, always go across the goalkeeper. You continue to hear Robbie Slater in commentary talking about two things, mainly men on the post and going across the face of goalkeeper. And this has looked very, very smart play. Now, Danny Vukovic, super save, but I'll say that from experience, he'll probably learn this. When that shot is going across you like that, you realise that if you parry it in that area, it's probably nine times out of ten going to score a goal. You've got to deflect that to a wider area. And Roots... Um, was that handball, by the way? Hint of handball mm. from Georgievsky. No one appealed from Sydney FC and Guy Finkler. Wow. Take nothing away. And, and he's met this as well. It, just before he was about to hit it, he had a quick look up to see how many white shirts were in the box, and uh, he knew exactly what he was going to do. Vedran wouldn't be happy at all. No. I know Bozzo, we spoke about that as no. well. That, that was why the other look up was to see where the goalkeeper was. Probably too yeah. far away from his post on that yeah. side, and you expect your goalkeeper, particularly on that near side as well, yeah. to, to protect that. But two goals for Sydney FC in that six-yard area. Tappins 